friend bubble bath together. Yeah, naked. And then we can see who can hold their breath underwater the longest. Dude, who invited Timmy? Yeah, why is he here? He's not part of our friend group. Well, he hangs out with us sometimes. But he's not officially part of our friend group yet, so he needs to go home. Well, how do I become a part of your friend group? Uh, you have to do a gang initiation. Yeah. Ooh, I love gay initiation. He did not say that. He said gang. Yeah, a gang initiation to show you're hard enough to be a part of the Skeeter Boys. The Skeeter Boys? Yeah, that's the name of our friend group. I've never heard you say that ever. Joseph, what's the name of our friend group? Skeet a boy, skeet skeet! Ooh, I love that. Skeet skeet! Uh, dude, we should probably change the name of the group now. Yeah. So, what's the test? Uh, it's gotta be something very difficult. Uh, you should probably break into every car in the neighborhood and steal something valuable and bring it back to me so I can have it. Yeah, that's what you gotta do to become a part of the Skeeter Boys. Okay, I'll do that. But no, Timmy, that's illegal. But I wanna be a part of your friends group. Yeah, he has to do it if he wants to be part of the Skeeter Boys. Well, I didn't have to take a test. Because you're part of the three founding Skeeter Boys. If, if someone wants to join the Skeeter Boys, they have to do a gang initiation. Okay, well, I'll just go do it right now. What? No, Timmy. Guys, why did you do that? Because we don't want Timmy to be a part of our friend group, and we gave him something hard to do because we know he can't do it. Yeah, he's not going to pull it off, dude. <sighs> I have to break into this car. Well, maybe I should check to see if it's unlocked first. <gasps> oh, my God. So lucky. <gasps> a wallet. Okay, time for car number two. <clears throat> Shit, it's locked. Time for handy-dandy crowbar. Oh, yes! Oh, what a score! There's so much good stuff here! A oh, phone? Shit! Oh no, I broke it! Well, maybe it'll still work. Okay, let's see if this Jeep is unlocked. Ooh, so lucky! Oh my god, best score yet! Sorry, Mom and Dad, but I want to be a Skeeter Boy. The alarm! But Mom's purse! Honey, I got the baseball bat. The car alarm's going off. I think a damn raccoon crawled across the truck. I'm gonna go check it out. Where are you at, you dang raccoon? Oh my god! Someone broke into my truck with a crowbar? Suzanne, call the police! Someone stole your Louis Vuitton purse! Oh, baby, where is it? Where's what, Marvin? My wallet! It's missing! You left it in the car, silly! Oh, yeah. 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 What the? What? My car door's open! What? Someone stole my wallet! Someone broke into my car! And Jeffy's car door's open too! What? Someone broke into our cars! <laughs> hey Marvin! Somebody broke into your car too? Yeah, they broke into me and Jeffy's car. They break into yours? Yeah, they broke <laughs> in and stole my wife's Louis Vuitton purse. It was the nicest purse I ever had! <laughs> yeah, I got it for her and I'm sorry for cheating on you with a babysitter gift. <laughs> Oh look, they're pulling up now! <laughs> Fuck yeah. How badass did that look, huh? Like when I got out of my car and I took off my sunglasses and just tossed them away? That was badass, right? It was pretty cool. Yeah, how about this? How about I pull up again and you record it on my phone so I can put it on Facebook? We don't have time for that! There's crime going on in the neighborhood. Okay, what kind of crime? Someone broke into our cars and stole our stuff. Like, they stole my wallet. And they stole my wife's Louis Vuitton purse. Well, do you have security camera footage of the person who did it? No. No, but there's a crowbar over there you could probably get some fingerprints off of. Yeah, we don't really do that unless it's like a murder or a bank robbery or something actually important. But this is important. Someone stole our stuff out of our cars. Well, I don't know what to do other than tell you to lock your cars. They were locked. Well, look, I don't know. Start a neighborhood watch or something. If you catch the guy that did it, then I can arrest him. Isn't it your job to catch the bad guys? Look, there are better guys out there for me to catch, okay? So I'm gonna go pick up my sunglasses off the ground and then go pull up like that somewhere else where a real crime is happening and hope somebody records it. He said to form a neighborhood watch. Alright, Marvin, you and me, sit in the car all night and patrol the neighborhood. Honey, do be careful! Oh, I will, honey. I got my Louisville slugger right here. Hey, Joseph, can you set the pins back up? Yeah, bro, I got you. Guys, Timmy's taking a long time. Should we go check on him? No, Cody, if he wants to be part of the Skeeter Boys, he has to prove he can't get caught. Yeah, dude, he has to live that lifestyle. Oh, my God. Guys, I got some really good stuff. You actually did it? Oh, yeah. No, he didn't, dude. I believe it when I see it. Where's the stuff? Well, I have four words for you. Avril Lavigne and Jason Derulo CDs. The greatest albums of all time. Fabulous. That was more than four words. Dude, I can't use that stuff. Everything is digital these days. Oh, yeah? Well, how about this? The complete series of Brandy and Mr. Whiskers on DVD. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Brandy's sexy. Wait, wait, what's sexy about her? Look at her toes. <gasps> Look at those toes. <laughs> She's a dog, dude. She's not a dog, Cody. But wait, there's more. I even got Tony Hawk's Underground for PlayStation 2. Dibs, that one's mine. And... 
I found a phone! But I got so excited on the way here, I dropped it, and now it doesn't work anymore. We can't sell a broken phone, Timmy. Yeah, where's the good stuff, like jewelry and money and stuff? Ooh, I got some of that, too! I got a gold chain and a gold ring. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And... I got Mr. Marvin's wallet. Oh, Joseph, go through that. Oh, I got you. See if there's money in there. Ooh. And I saved the best for last. A Louis purse. Soleil. Well, what's inside it? I don't know. Let's see. We have some lipstick. And some bubble gum. Oh, bubble gum. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I don't know what these are. Oh, popsicles. I want one. Oh, I hope mine's orange. I hope mine's red, white, and blue. Oh, wait a minute, guys. These aren't popsicles. These are mozzarella cheese sticks. Oh, dude, even better. I love cheese sticks. Cool, they even have a little thing where you can inject the cheese right into your mouth. <laughs> Guys, I think these are stale. Well, they have been inside a purse, and I think you're supposed to refrigerate cheese. Oh man. So, guys, can I be a part of the Skeeter Boys now? Well, he did break into a car and steal a bunch of cool stuff. Yeah, that is pretty gangster. <sighs> I guess so. Yeah, you're part of the Skeeter Boys now. Oh my god, yay! All right, Marvin, we're gonna sit right here in the Tahoe and wait for the bastard to come back. And when he does, we're gonna grab him and call the police. Well, I don't think they're gonna try to rob the same truck they already robbed tonight. I think we should walk around the neighborhood and try to catch him. Ah, smart thinking, Marvin. Here, you take this talkie, Channel 20. My code name is Hucker Doodle Doo, and you're gonna be Marvin the Martian, okay? Okay. All right, call me if you see anything suspicious, and I'll be right over. All right, let's go. Where are you, criminal? Where are you? <gasps> Marvin the Martian. Come in. There's something creeping in my bushes. Hey, Freeze, you're under citizen's arrest. Oh my god. It's a damn raccoon. Get out of my bushes, raccoon. Uh, 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 Wait, what the hell's uh, going on? Uh, there's a damn raccoon in my bushes. Uh, you know, you're not supposed to be caring about raccoons. You're supposed to be caring about criminals. You're right, Marvin. Let's split back up. <sighs> okay, I don't see anything. Oh my god. Hank, come in, Hank. Who are you talking to, Marvin the Martian? I'm talking to you. There's someone in my trash can. I think it might be the robber. I have no idea who you're talking to. My name is Hucker Doodle Doo. Over. <laughs> Hucker Doodle Doo. Oh, what'd you say, Marvin the Martian? Oh, there's someone in the trash can. I, I think it might be the robber. Come quick. All right, Marvin, where's he at? He's in the trash can. Hey, you, get out of the trash can. You're under arrest. Yummy beer. Oh, Marvin, it's a damn homeless. You think he stole our stuff? Where's the Louis Vuitton? That light reminds me of the aliens abducted me. Are you here to probe my asshole? I don't think he stole our stuff. All right, get out of the neighborhood. Yeah, get out of here, you goober. Okay. I think we should stick together. All right, Marvin, come on. All right, Marvin, see anything suspicious? No, I don't see anything. Make sure you keep your eyes peeled. Wait, who's that? Wait, I don't recognize that car. Me either. Hey, stop the car! Yes, yeah, stop, stop your car. Is there a problem, gentlemen? What are you doing in our neighborhood, bub? Oh, I'm delivering pizza, see? You work for Papa John's? Yes, sir. Where's your car topper? Oh, I don't put it on because it'll scratch my paint. Uh-huh, likely story. Whose panties are those? Uh, they're mine. What are your pronouns? He, him. He, hims don't wear panties. Those are for she, hers, and they, thems, and A, B, C, D, F, Gs. So I'm going to ask you again. Where'd you get the fucking panties? I got them from some girl. You've been breaking into my car, stealing my wife's panties, sniffing them, huh? Well, I mean, I am sniffing them, but they're not your wife's. I got them from some girl online, and I use them as an air freshener. Marvin, I think we got our suspect. Out of the car, bub. For what? We're making a citizen's arrest, so get out of the car! But I didn't do anything! You were breaking into the car, so out of the car! Oh, okay. Yeah, come on. Up against the car! Ow! Be gentle, I have weak bones. I didn't drink milk growing up. Shut up, criminal. Hey, Marvin, call 911 and let them know we got our perk. Okay. Someone please tell me they recorded that. I did. Thank you, send that to me. Okay, so what's going on here? What, Jonathan? Thank goodness, looking guy, you're trying to arrest me for no reason. No, what did you do? He's the guy that's been breaking into the cars in our neighborhood. No, oh, Jonathan doesn't break into cars. Explain the panties. What the hell, are those my wife's panties? Yes, I took them last time I was at your house. God damn it, Jonathan. Well, you never told me I couldn't take your wife's panties. You should already know that. Okay, I'm gonna take you back to my house so you can apologize to my wife. Oh, yeah. Okay, you know what? How about I just tell mom what you did? No, please! So take my Xbox away! You should have your Xbox taken away. Thanks for telling me about this, guys. Come on, Jonathan. No problem. Just trying to keep the neighborhood safe. 
So, how do you play this game? You've never bowled before? No, my father only lets me study and play instruments. Well, you just roll that ball into the pins over there. Ooh, I love balls, and I love those wiener-looking things. Jesus, dude, he's out of the Skeeter Boys. Yeah, Timmy, you can't be a part of the Skeeter Boys anymore. But I robbed all those cars! Yeah, guys, that's not fair. Dude, we only have room for one gay friend. Sorry. Well, oh, thank you, Joseph. Yeah, but I'm not gay, though. Uh, yeah, all right. Listen, Timmy, we never wanted four friends in our friend group. Four is a crowd. Three is a perfect number. It's like the Three Musketeers. They like Three Musketeers so much they named a candy bar after him. Well, Junior, Three Musketeers was a book first. No, Cody, Three Musketeers is a candy bar. You think all those words on the back of the candy bar is a book? That's a nutrition fact. What, no, Junior, they named the candy bar after a book. You think a candy aisle is a bookstore? <laughs> oh, my favorite book is the Reese's Cups. My Starburst. <laughs> my Skittles. Taste the rainbow. I fucking hate you, Junior. See, look, that's why you can't be part of a friend group because Cody is the gay friend. You, you, you just can't be here, okay? It's a little cr overcrowded, bro. Oh, oh the cops! Jesus, dude! But there's a cop car outside! Oh, wait, look, Timmy. If you want to be a part of the Skeeter Boys, you have to go steal that cop car outside. Okay, deal. Wait, no, Timmy! Sorry, Jonathan. I know you're gonna lose your Xbox, but PlayStation's better. Screw 12! Skeeter Boys for life! What the hell is a Skeeter Boy? What? Hey, hey, no, no, watch out for that car! Oh, Jesus. You are fucking grounded, mister! For the rest of your life, young man! Stealing a cop car is a huck or don't! And crashing the cop car that you stole is a huck or don't! And going outside at nighttime is a huck or don't! Why are you guys calling it that? Some of those are just laws. I'm sorry, everyone. I was just trying to be a skeeter boy. Wait, I'm sorry. Are you trying to say skater boy like the Avril Lavigne song? No, skeeter boy. It's the gang I'm in. Oh my god, he's part of a gang! And being in a gang! is a huck or don't. I knew all that rap music was corrupting our kids' minds. In those darn video games! Anything else you want to admit to, young man? Yes, sir. I broke into everyone's car in the neighborhood and stole a bunch of stuff. You little shit! I can't believe I punched you out of my vagina! Honey, DNA test tomorrow because no way is a huck or do. Because a huck or do would not do the things that you did! Okay, look, I know you guys are really upset, but he did crash my police car into my brother's car, so I'm gonna need your insurance information, because my brother is the suing type, and I, I also can't arrest him because he's a minor. Upstairs now, mister! I'm gonna give you a spanking so hard it's gonna turn your little tushy purple! You promise? Jesus, and read your Bible! Leviticus 18.22! Yes, sir. <laughs> hey! Huh? Hey, Timmy! Cody? Hey, what's up? I'm grounded! Oh, well, what happened? Well, come over here and I'll tell you! Oh, okay. Hey, we heard you got caught. I don't know why you asked what happened. Yeah, we heard you crashed the cop car. Pretty gangsta, dude. So, am I part of the Skeeter Boys now? Why aren't there sheets on your bed? Well, Cody came over earlier and- uh, they, they, they don't need to know about that. Be cool, bro. Okay, sorry. So, so am I part of the Skeeter Boys now? I mean, you did crash a cop car. Yeah, that was sick as hell, bro. I can't even lie. So, am I part of the Skeeter Boys now, or- mm. <sighs> uh, uh, Ooh. I mean, uh, right. uh, I just, uh, I don't know. I mean, I vote yes. Uh, okay. <gasps> really? Yeah, you're part of the Skeeter Boys. Oh my God! Yay! Welcome to the club. Thank you so much. It's like <laughs> ooh, smooth like chicken. Wait, smooth like chicken? Yeah, chicken smooth. If, if, if it's grilled chicken. No, it's not. It has grill marks on it. It's got little ridges. That I meant the, the the chicken you eat on Thanksgiving. You mean turkey? Oh, yeah, I meant turkey. Smooth like turkey, but like before it's cut up, like when it's on the table. Wait, wait, so am I part of the Skeeter Boys or not? I don't know. Okay, bye. Honey, how about we send little Timmy's hood rat ass to military school? Get his ass in check. You don't think it's gonna be too harsh on him? Not any harsher than being in a gang. Little shit thinks he's part of the Bloods and Crips. Yeah, hey, I know you guys are having a conversation here, but I really need that insurance information. I cannot leave without it. Well, how about this, Mr. Police Officer Man? How about I mow your grass for a year straight pro bono? I would really prefer the insurance information that was a company car, so, you know, I need that. Well, how about I take you bowling on Saturday? I think, really, you should just give me the insurance information, because your son crashed my car. Well, how about I mow your grass and take you bowling on Saturday? How about I arrest you if you don't give me your insurance card right now? Alright, come down. Okay, guys, you ready to play Greedy Granny? Yeah, dude, it's been forever since the last time we had a game night. And tonight's the perfect night for it, because it's raining outside. How do you even play this game? Well, you spin this spinner here, and whatever number it lands on, that's how many times you press this button, and you try to steal a treat from Granny, but if she wakes up and spits her teeth out, you lose. 
She looks dead. Oh, trust me, she's not dead. She's one greedy granny. All right, Cody, you go first. Okay. Um, looks like I have to press it once. <sighs> okay. Your turn, Junior. Okay. How many times do I gotta press it? Uh, one time. Can you press it for me? Uh, okay. <sighs> okay, get your treat. Can you grab it for me? Why do I have to do everything? Because you're right there. Okay, your turn, Joseph. All right, my time to shine. Ugh. Ooh, two times? Uh, can you press it for me, dude? Uh, okay. Kind of a delayed reaction, Jeffy. Well, I'm missing a chromosome, so it takes my brain a second to process the signal. Marvin, did you just hear Jeffy scream? I think so. Well, what if he's hurt? Go check on him! Jeffy! Stop screaming, you goober! Marvin, go check on him! He's fine. Oh, Cody, you lost! Yeah, yeah, you lost, Cody! What, how did I lose? Because you pressed the button for Joseph. Mm hmm what, But it was Joseph's turn! But it was your finger that made her wake up. Yeah, it was the pressure of your finger, dude. Yeah, if, if Joseph would have pressed it, it wouldn't have went off. But since you pressed it so hard, you wanted Joseph to lose. Well, yeah. It was going to go off no matter who pressed it. You have a problem with Joseph. You pressed it hard so yeah. she would wake up. What? No, this is stupid. I don't want to play this game anymore. Why? Because you cheated to make Joseph lose? Cheater! What? You guys are cheating! Oh, no. All right, listen, we'll just play a different game. But, Cody, no more cheating. Well, yeah, I'm not Cody. cheating. Come on, get it together. Oh, there's someone at the door. Oh, you'll get up to go check the door, but not on Jeffy? <sighs> Hello? Hey, buddy, we're here for the surprise. Lady, where are we? Uh, sh don't worry about that, Karen. You know what? You just stay right here while I finish getting your surprise ready. What's going on? Shut up. Let me come inside. Uh, Karen, you stay here. <laughs> so what's going on? Oh, I screwed up really bad, man. Today's my wife's birthday, but I totally forgot. But I told her that I didn't forget and that I had a big surprise planned for her. So what's the surprise? Well, see, that's the thing. I don't really have a big surprise. I lied. You lied? Yeah, so I thought we could just set up a birthday party here, and I could tell it was a big surprise party that I planned a long time ago. You want us to lie? Yes, exactly. A big convincing lie, yeah. But we don't have the stuff for a party here. Well, exactly. And that's why I brought two for $60 for your wife to go buy party supplies while we distract my wife. I don't want to lie! Bitch, please! Just help me out here! It's not that hard, okay? Look, it's not even a lie if we really do it. Well, what kind of party supplies? You know, like balloons and cupcakes, party shit! I don't know, go, okay? Just... Okay! Jesus. How do you even deal with her? Uh, how do we distract your wife? I don't know. Do you have anything fun? Well, the kids are playing board games downstairs. Yes, that's perfect. Okay, just ground all of them and we'll take their board games and play them with my wife. Is board games enough to distract your wife? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, my wife is an absolute dunce, okay? A complete nincompoop. Okay, so I'll go get the board games and you go get your wife. Yes, I will go do that. What are we supposed to do, Cody? I think you're supposed to bend over in front of it and let it floss your butt crack. I'll pass. What are you kids doing? We're playing board games! Well, Jeffy, you're grounded for screaming earlier. I was scared! Well, it hurt my ears, so grounded. Well, at least we can keep playing. No, all you kids, you better go upstairs or I'm gonna tell your parents you were doing drugs. Ah, snitch. W what's your deal, dog? Well, we're having an adult party downstairs and there's no kids allowed. Well, I wanna go to the adult party. I'm 18. No, it's my house, so you gotta listen to my rules, Jeffy. So all the kids upstairs. Gee. Now! Uh... <sighs> okay. Hey, Karen. Bye, Well, it's gonna be worth it when you see a surprise. Come on! Hey, you ready? Yeah, I got a bunch of board games. Oh, that's perfect. Hey, I grabbed a beer out of your fridge. I hope you don't mind. Boydy, where are we? Oh, you can take your blindfold off now, Karen. <gasps> Boydy, what is this? Surprise! Surprise! It's a surprise party! Boydy, you threw me a surprise party? I no, no, I would never forget your birthday. But look, we're going to play board games before your party. Board games? I love board games. Yeah, I know. So just pick one. Uh, let's play this one. Mm -hmm. Stir the pot. Uh, it says it roasts your friends for you. Yeah, it's a great game. Super fun. <gasps> you played it before? No, but we totally should. Yeah, let's do it. So how do we play this game, Boiny? Well, you draw a card, and whoever the card describes the best gets to keep the card. Oh! talk through the whole movie. <laughs> That'd be you, Karen. <laughs> do not, Boiny. Yeah, you do. Take the card. Let's see what I got. Let's see. Who has the shortest attention span? That's another card for you, Karen. That's not true. <gasps> oh my god, I love this wall color. It's so orange. Yeah, I'm just going to give you this card. All right, my turn. All right. Who comes the least prepared? That's you because you forgot her birthday. Shut the fuck up. Oh! <laughs> that sounds like you again, Karen. Boyny, that's not very nice. Yeah, well, it's true. You need to be quieter. All right, let's see. Who has the most annoying voice? Another card for you, Karen. Wow, you're good at this game. I don't like this game, Boyny. It's kind of mean. Oh, I love this game. All right, it's my turn again. All right, let's see. 
Who never shuts the fuck up? Wow, Karen, another card for you. You should go pro. Okay, you know what? It's my turn again. I'm going. Who is most likely to get offended by a joke? Well, that one's for you, Pointy. I don't get offended. I don't get offended at anything. I love jokes. I laugh at jokes all the time. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I'm going to go again. Let's see. Who is most likely to get checked into anger management? Oh, that's another one for you, Pointy. I don't have anger problems, Karen. I just need to be away from you. Okay, let's see what we got. Whose phone do you want to go through the most? Let me see your phone. Oh, you're never going anywhere near that damn thing. I want to see your phone. No, Get it out, no, no, I'm going to draw a card now. Let's see. Uh, who is most likely to start an argument for no reason? Well, that sounds like you, care because you're starting shit. No, I'm going to. You started this whole argument uh, during the card game. Uh, hold on, hold on. I, I got a card. I got a card. How about how about this? Um, Who would bitch out their grandma for not giving them enough birthday money? Oh, yeah. That'd be me. Yeah, Gam Gam only gave me $5 for my 37th birthday. She knew I needed rent money. She's loaded. She can afford it. But Gam Gam is a stingy bitch. I hope you fucking die, Gam Gam. You know what? I don't want to play this game anymore. It's making me pissed off about Gam Gam. Boyney, maybe you should stop drinking. Actually, I was just thinking I need another one. Oh, I'll get a different game. Ah, stupid Karen starting shit. Hey, you yelling at your wife on her birthday? Yeah, she started it. Well, what are you doing? I'm getting more beer. It's the only way I'm gonna get through the rest of this party. Well, just try to calm down. You're being kind of crazy. Yeah, well, that's up to her. Okay, I'm back. Aw, Boyney, you brought a beer for everyone? <laughs> Good joke, Karen. You should be a comedian. No, these are all for me. Well, I went ahead and picked out the next game. It's called Spin the Dare. And you spin the arrow, whoever it lands on picks up a card, and they have to do the dare. Okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna spin to go first. Well, it doesn't matter who spins first, Karen. It, it doesn't even matter who spins, as long as it's whoever it lands on. Boyney, it's my birthday. You get to draw a card and do the dare. Okay, let's see here. Uh, let another player go through your camera roll for two minutes. That's not happening. Oh, I'll go through your phone, Boiny. You're not going through my phone, Karen. What do you have to do with That's the dare. Well, how about this? How about we can all skip one dare, but only one. I'll remember that, Boiny. Okay, so I have to do this dare. Let's see. Invite the last person you called who isn't already here to come join in on the fun. Oh, hell no. Who was the last person you called? It was Jonathan, but I only called him to tell him to stop calling me. Boiny, invite your brother over. Call him. That's not happening. Then let me go through your phone. I guess I'm calling Jonathan. Okay, it's ringing. Hey, Brooklyn guy! You want to block my number? No, this is for a dare. That's the only reason I called you. I knew you didn't hate me. Oh, I do, but we're playing this game and it dared me to call you and invite you to Karen's birthday party. <gasps> Karen's birthday party? I'm on my way! <sighs> oh, that's him. Hello? Where's Karen? Because I heard there was a fire in my pants. <laughs> is that my fireman outfit? Stop it. Stop. Stop stripping. I said stop it! Oh, why? Doesn't Karen want a sexy stripper for her birthday? Yeah, maybe if it was a sexy one. Look, just go home, change into a normal outfit, wash my fireman outfit, because I'm assuming you're not wearing underwear. Nope. Okay, yeah, wash that, and then come back, and I'll let you in. Oh, okay. Okay, he's here, so I win the deal. So, where's your birthday girl? I'm right here! Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Why'd you catch it, Karen? I don't know, Boiny. So, have you gotten your birthday spanking yet? Cause I'm gonna give you 18! Cause there's no way you're a day over 18! Aw, Boiny, did you hear that? He thinks I'm young! Yeah. Wait! I didn't miss the part where Karen gets in her birthday suit, did I? Okay, Jonathan, just calm down and let's play this game, okay? It's called Spin the Dare, okay? So you, so you just draw a card and you do the dare that's on the card and it's your turn. But Boiny, you gotta spin it! Yeah, we're not doing that anymore. It's Jonathan's turn. Now pick a card, Jonathan. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, this one's spicy. Reveal who you F, marry, and kill using people from the group. Well, I killed Yuking Guy. Thanks. And then I would marry Karen. Aww. And then I would F Karen over and over and over and over and over and pushing the pillow. Okay, Jonathan, oh, Jonathan, oh, Jonathan. Oh. Okay, stop, stop. Okay, uh, we can all skip a dare and you're skipping that dare, okay? Pick a different dare. Oh, okay. Oh, this one's juicy. Take a selfie, kissing the person to your left on the lips and post it on social media. Pucker up, baby. Oh, okay, okay. I don't want to play this game anymore. We're still, we're going to stop playing. No! That's not fair! You can't do that! There's no part of the rule that it's Karen's birthday! We're not doing that, Jonathan. Let's play Twister instead. Oh, hell yeah. Twister can do. No, no Twister the game. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a game. Okay, let, let's stop the game. 
So what are the rules for Twister? Well, you spin this spinner, and then whatever body part and color it lands on, you put that body part on that color. But Boiny, we don't have feet, so what happens if it spins on left foot or right foot? Oh, I know! I'm gonna fix your board! We'll be right back! All right, so I fix your board. So now it says Karen's butt or Karen's boobs. We're not playing this. Go ahead and spin, Karen. Oh, uh, okay. But, 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 green! Dang it! Rose says the party's ready. Oh, thank God. Uh, Karen, it's time to put your blindfold back on. Ooh, great idea, looking guy. That way she doesn't see where she's sitting. No, no, it's for the party. Come on, Karen. Okay, the party's ready. Wow, this party actually doesn't look too bad. I did a good job. Boiny, I can't see where I'm going. Ooh, I'll help you just back up over here. Oh! Jonathan, stop spanking my wife. Well, she needs her birthday spankings anyway. 17 more. Karen, you can take the blindfold off. Oh, okay. Oh! Stop it, Jonathan. 16 more. <gasps> Boiny, you set this up just for me? Uh, yeah, yeah, I sure did. I, I set all this up months ago. Cupcakes are stale as fuck. Boiny, all those mean jokes you were making were just to distract me from you setting up a surprise birthday party for me? Yep, that. All of the things you just said, all of that is right. Yeah, yeah, so we should light these candles. Ooh, Karen, I bet if you just touch the candles, they'll set on fire. Because you're hot. Oh! Damn it, Jonathan, stop spanking her. I'm going to go get the lighter. Okay, lit the candles. Let's sing a happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Ow! Happy birthday to you. Ah! Happy birthday to Karen. Ow! Happy, happy birthday to you. Aw, Jonathan, that was beautiful. Now give me a piece of that cake. Jonathan! I wish Boiny would give me a big kiss. <gasps> That's really weird. You said Jonathan wrong. Come here, Boiny. Give me smooches. Okay. Oh, you taste like beer, Boiny. I know. I love you, Boiny. Thank you so much for my party. It's the best birthday ever. Yeah, I love you too, Karen. I can't wait to play video games all summer. No, sir. No video games for you. Why, Dad? You're not going to sit in the house and play video games all summer. You're going to do something healthy, like go outside and play or uh, read a book. Read a book? Do books even exist anymore? Of course they exist. What kind of question is that? I got the perfect book for you right here. It's the Guinness Book of World Records. 2015? That was six years ago. Hey, hey, it's a classic. I think it's about a kid who becomes a wizard and uh, somebody bangs a wolf or something. And, uh, oh, oh, they got fat people right here. Fat people? Yeah, all all types of stuff. You can learn a lot of stuff in here. Okay, I'll read the book. Yeah, yeah. What are you about to go do? Oh, I'm about to go and watch TV. Why do you get to watch TV? Hey, I'm old. I've given up on life. Look, you, you're still young. You can learn. So get to the reading, okay? Tell me what you learned. Okay. Stupid. These are world records. Wait, fattest person in the world? <laughs> Have they seen Cody's mom yet? <laughs> Tallest person in the world? Whoa, these are really cool. Wait, so if I set a world record, I could get in this book? I want to set a world record! Yeah! I'm gonna set a world record this summer! Chef Pee-Pee! Oh man, so many dishes! I swear I watch the most dishes in the world! Hey Chef Pee-Pee! Oh, what do you want, Junior? Well, my dad got me this book called the Guinness Book of World Records. Book? And I, and I decided I'm gonna set a world record! <laughs> you? Set a world record? Yeah. Junior, you can't set a world record! It takes talent to set a world record and you don't have it! Well, I have talent! <laughs> like what? Well, I can pick my- Besides picking your nose. Uh, I could dance. <laughs> dance? Well, well, dance for me. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, you might actually get in there. Really? No, 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 Junior, that was sarcasm. You don't have talent. Well, I can sing. You, well, well, sing for me. Hit a note. Uh, the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. Stop it. How do you ruin a nursery rhyme? My ears are about to bleed. Well, look, Chevy, I have talent. I'm going to set a world record. <laughs> the day you actually set a world record is the day I'll admit I'm gay. Wait, so you are gay, you just haven't admitted it yet? What? No, 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 look, look, uh, I, 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 I... You're gay? No, 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 I, I was just gonna say, the day that I, I, you break a record is the day I say I'm gay. Ha. No, you said admit it. You know what, Shai I'll go break a world record just so you can finally come out, okay? No, 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 I like women, Junior! You just missed, you heard me! God dang it! <sighs> Stupid chef pee, pee saying I can't set a world record. I can set a world record. All the records in this book are dumb. Like, look at this guy. All he did was open his mouth. Ah! 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 See, I'm
I'm a dinosaur. It looks like you saw a dinosaur. And look at this guy. He, all he did was look, open his eyes. All he did was open his eyes. Stupid. And look at this guy. All he did was stick his tongue out. Uh, uh, he put me in the book. These are dumb. I can easily get in this book. You know what? I'm going to call a guy from the Guinness Book of World Records to come over to my house, and he's going to witness me break 100 records. I'm going to break 100 records in front of the guy. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Oh man, that must be the guy from the Guinness Book of World Records. I'm gonna set a hundred records today. Hello? Hey, you're the kid who said he's gonna break a hundred records today? I sure am. Wow, you must have a lot of talent. Yeah, talent is my first and last name. Wow, that's a lot to live up to. And also kind of a weird name. Talent, talent. Hmm. Yeah, so you wanna come inside and watch me break a hundred records? I'd love to, no one's ever done that before. Yeah, come on. Yeah. All right, I call this the record-breaking couch, because I'm going to break all those records on this couch. Okay. Oh, I see you get the book. You've been doing research? Yeah, the book is what inspired me to want to break a world record. Okay, show me what you got, Mr. Talent. Mr. Talent? Who's that? Well, it's you, right? Because your name is Talent Talent. Oh, yeah, I'm Mr. Talent. Yeah, so show me what you got. Oh, okay, record number one. Uh... What are you doing? I'm doing what he did. He opened his mouth. Uh, no, his mouth is way bigger than you. Uh, no, no, no. I'm opening him bigger. Uh, it's just like a normal mouth. Uh, I, mean, no. I can do that. Look. Uh, 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 you, you just beat him. Well, yeah. Wow. You, you should be in the book. Yeah, maybe. Oh, okay, you got that record, but uh, I got this one. Uh, What's that? I'm taking my tongue out. What? No, 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 come on. Look, his tongue is way bigger than yours. No, my tongue is out of my mouth. It's not even coming out of your mouth. Oh, okay, okay. Um. I got this one. What? I, I'm, doing, I'm doing what she did with her eyes. You look like you're trying to read my mind. My eyes are coming out of my head. N no, they're not. They're like the most two-dimensional eyes ever. They're not sticking out at all. Uh, I thought this was going to be easy. If it was easy, then it wouldn't be in the book. Well, look, all this guy did was have an afro. Yeah, you're right. I feel like I've seen people with more hair than that. Yeah, so this is dumb. Well, if you're not going to break a record, I'm going to go home. Well, no, 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 no. Isn't your job to, like, wait around until I break a world record? No, I'm not just going to sit around all day and wait for you to do something cool. Well, that's, that's what you got to do. What if I break a world record on, on, on accident? Well, if you accidentally break a world record, I'd be very impressed. Look, just give me some more time. Okay, I'll give you ten minutes, and if you don't break a record, I'm going home. Okay, uh, what can I do? Um, uh... Oh, well, what's an easy world record to break? Well, uh, people usually try to eat a lot of food. You know, this is the Joey Chestnut guy. He ate like 73 hot dogs in 10 minutes. 73 hot dogs in 10 minutes? Yeah. I could easily break that. I could eat like 100 hot dogs in two minutes. God damn. All right. Give it a shot, kid. All right, come on. Yeah, I can eat those. Oh, man. Thank God I'm finally done washing dishes. Chef Bibi, Chef Bibi, Chef Bibi. Julia, 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 what? I need you to make me 100 hot dogs. 100 hot dogs? Jesus Christ, for what? I want to set the world record eat the most hot dogs. Oh, my God. We already established this. You're not going to break any world records today. But the hot dog record is easy. What's the record? Oh, okay. So this guy ate 73 hot dogs in 10 minutes. I'm going to eat 100 hot dogs in two minutes. Are you crazy, Junior? You're not going to eat that many hot dogs. And we only got like two in the refrigerator. We only have two? Yeah. Okay. Make the two hot dogs because then I'm going to eat those two hot dogs in like three seconds. There's no way you're going to do that, Junior. Yes, I am. You just don't want to come out of the closet. Hey, hey. I'm going to make your stupid hot dogs because I'm not coming out of the closet. I'm... Mean, I mean, oh, I, mean I told you. I mean, you just, know what I meant. Just, just make the hot dog. God damn it. Oh, man, I can't believe I'm about to set a world record. Chef, baby, where's the hot dogs? Hold on, hold on. I'm bringing your stupid hot dogs. Now break the world record. That is not 100 hot dogs. Not even close. I know. We don't have 100 hot dogs. We only had two. What record are you going to break with those? Well, I was thinking I could eat two hot dogs in three seconds. Wow. Okay, that sounds cool. Yeah, so I'll eat these in three seconds. All right. I'd love to see that. All right, and... Go. Well, I'm not ready yet. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm ready. Go! I'm not, I'm not ready yet. Wait, all right. Oh, hold on, I'm ready. I'm, uh, I'm ready. Go! I'm, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, <clears throat> okay, okay, count me down from three. Okay, three? No, 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 like one. What? Oh, you said fr okay. One, two, three, go! <laughs> oh, oh, God, I'm so full. Hey, mister, how long has it been? It's been 45, wait, 46 minutes. Oh, uh, did I break the record? No, absolutely not. You took one bite of one hot dog and you spent the rest of the time complaining about your stomach hurting. Oh, uh, okay, so I clearly didn't get that record. No. Okay, but I have one hot dog left. What if I eat one hot dog in half a second? No, 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 no. We're not going to do that because we just proved that you can't do it. Well, well, well how about, how about this? What was that? It, it was uh, the, the hardest throwing of a plate of hot dogs in a kitchen. Uh, okay. 
that was really specific. I don't think that's a thing. Although I got that record. You have to give that one to me. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll ask them about that one. Okay, so I have one record right now. Okay, so let's, let's try to break another one. Ooh, ooh, how about loudest burp? Oh, okay, yeah, that's a real one. Oh, wait, because I, I just got done eating, so I could burp really loud. Sure. Okay, so get your earplugs ready. I'm ready. I don't want to rupture your eardrums. I'm good. Okay, are you ready to listen to the loudest burp you ever heard? Yes, I am. All right, watch this. What was that? It was like, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> I, I, that wasn't a burp. There's was just kind of like a squeak. Oh, okay, okay, okay. How about loudest fart? Is that is that is that a record? Yeah, I guess. Okay, okay. loudest fart. Hmm. Ew. Th was that loud? No, it was just gross. Oh, okay, okay. How about ooh, ooh fastest uh, fastest saying ABCs? Is that is that a record? Yeah, yeah, that's a real one. Okay, fastest time saying ABCs. Okay, listen, listen. A B C D E F Z. No, 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 no. You're just saying A B C D E F Z. No, A B C A B C D E F Z. No, no, you're skipping like three. A B C D E F Z. No, no, no. You just say A B C D. No, no, no. You're saying A B C D. That's not. That's not. Like, what? You can say your A B C is fast too. No, I'm not doing it. I'm just like speeding through it. Okay, so me and you both have that record. We're tied with that one. Oh. Okay. How about fastest time counting to a hundred? Yeah. If you think you can. Oh, okay. okay. I, I can count to a hundred really fast. You ready? Okay. One two three hundred. No, you're saying one two three hundred. One two three hundred. No, you just say you're just speeding through one two three. One two hundred. You're missing most of the numbers. One two hundred. What? You, one two hundred. That's what you said. One hundred. You're just saying one hundred. You're just saying one hundred now. It's nothing. Oh, wait. How about fastest saying a hundred? No. Hundred. No. You, one hundred. It's, you're not, you're not even saying it that hi, fast. Hi, wait, hi, you're just hi, making noises. Hi, you're just yelling hi, at me. Okay, we're gonna hi, move on to something hi, else now. One hundred. Stop. Stop. One hundred. Stop. Stop. One hundred. Stop it. One hundred. Stop. Stop. Try to break a record in here somewhere. Okay, just look around. Okay. Uh. Ooh. Chef Pee left the bread out. How about fastest time putting the bread back in the pantry? What? No. You're just doing chores at this point. This, this isn't a record. Wait, how fast was that? I didn't time. It because it's not a record. Okay, so I have that record, so I have like three records now. What? No. Ooh, how about loudest cabinet slam? What, what are you talking about? What? what? No. That was loud. Yeah, it was. It was just annoying. Okay, so I got that record. No. Ooh, how about longest time sitting in the microwave? What? What? Oh, yeah, watch this. What are you doing? Get out of there. No, I'm breaking the record. No, this isn't a record. Is it in the book? No. See, look, I'm the first one to do it, so I just set another record. Wait, it doesn't, it's not the book because it doesn't matter. Oh, okay, okay, watch this, watch this. Loudest microwave door slam. No, you can't just. You that was loud. You're just slamming things and calling it a record. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait. Most paper towels wasted. No, no, my kids already got that one. Well, I'm doing it more. No, not. That's a lot of paper towels wasted. Yeah. yeah okay, so put that in the record book. I'm not doing that. Ooh, how about biggest brain freeze? I don't even know how to measure that. Let me go get the ice cream. What? All right, mister. I got a big old bowl of ice cream. Yeah, that's a bowl of ice cream. Is it the world's biggest bowl of ice cream? No, definitely not. Okay, well, look, I'm going to get the world's biggest brain freeze. And I'm going to break that record. What, how am I going to tell how big your brain freeze is? Based on how loud I scream, because of how much pain I'm in from the brain freeze, I'm going to scream really loud, and that's how you're going to measure it. And you're also going to give me the record for the loudest scream. Okay, whatever. And I'm also gonna eat ice cream with a fork, so I get the world record for the first person to eat ice cream with a fork. Okay, you're definitely not the first person to do this. And then I have this big bag of gummy bears. So look, 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 watch this. Most gummy bears on an ice cream. No, you're just making a gummy bear mess. That's a lot of that's a lot of gummy bears. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, and also um uh ooh, ooh, fastest time counting all the gummy bears on my ice cream. One two three hundred. No, no. One two three hundred. No, no, no one hundred. Stop, stop. Okay, just stop it. You are not gonna break any world records. Okay, you're too young and you're really stupid. Okay. Okay, I don't think this is gonna happen. Am I the stupidest person in the world? Is that a world record? No, no, you're just stupid, okay? You're rock stupid. Maybe when you're older and you're more mature and you're less stupid, maybe you could break a world record. But for now, it's not happening. Sorry. But, oh, I guess Chef PB was right. I'll never break a world record. Wait a minute. Oh, I got an idea. Mr. Wait! Waste of my damn time. Hey, Mr. Mr. please don't leave yet. No, no, you just wasted my entire day trying to break world records. No, 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 I promise I have one more world record. I know I can break it. You just have to give me two minutes. You have two minutes, no more, no less. No, come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay, mister, just stand right here and give me two minutes. I'm gonna break the world's biggest record. Okay, you have two minutes. <sighs> okay. <sighs> All the gummy bears. <sighs> okay, yes, I'm gonna make the coolest thing ever. <sighs> You only have like a minute now, and all you're doing is picking up gummy bears. Well, just turn around. Stop watching. Fine. Okay, that should do. Shit, baby does this all the time. And I'm going to make the coolest thing ever. Okay, mister, just 30 more seconds. Okay, you have 30 seconds. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Or, or would you prefer one, two, thirty? Come on, come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! It's done. Hey, 
mister, it's done! All right, what'd you do? All right, check this out. Well, no, 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 not loudest oven door slam. Wait, that's not- Ow, right. ow, 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 move oh, it, move uh, it, move uh, it, move uh, it, ouch. Oh, I'm so sorry. Ouch. Oh, no, 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 check this out. I made the world's biggest gummy bear. Whoa, kid, you made that damn thing? Yeah, I did. The world's biggest gummy bear, right? W wow, how did you do this? I, I smashed together a bunch of little gummy bears, and I made the world's biggest gummy bear. I don't really see how that's possible, but kid, you did it. This is a world record. What? I set a world record? Yeah. I set a world record. So I'm going to be in the book? You're going to be in the book. Oh, really? So do I get my picture in and everything? Yeah, yeah, I'll take your picture. Oh, okay. Take my picture with it. Okay, got it. Great. Oh, my God, so I'm going to be in the book? Yeah, yeah, I'll get you the book real soon. I'm going to go rub it. Chef Pee face! Oh man, I can finally relax. Hey Chef Pee Pee! Julia, what do you want? I'm trying to relax. Turn to page 57. 57? For what? I want you to see something. Well, like, Julia, is that you? Yeah, I'm in the Guinness Book of World Records. Well, wait, you did this? You actually cooked this? Yeah, I set a world record. I made the world's biggest gummy bear. Well, you must get your cooking skills from me. <laughs> Especially no, if no. you're breaking records. I just smashed a bunch of gummy bears. It had nothing to do with you. Oh, wow. Well, you actually did it. You proved me wrong, Junior. Yeah, I set a world record, so hold up your end of the deal. Huh? Yeah! Junior, my knees are weak and my arms are spaghetti. Dude, that's crazy. Shoot me with the spaghetti ray and change me back to normal. Okay. <sighs> oh, good. I have my arms back. I'm never making a spaghetti ray ever again. What were you thinking, Cody? I really have no idea. Okay, that was the last scene for SML movie Cody Spaghetti Arms. Instant classic. Yeah, Joe secured it, bro. It would get more views if it was called Jeffy Spaghetti Arms. Well, obviously. Why wasn't Penelope in the video? Because no one likes her. <sighs> Why isn't there an Anthony puppet? Shut up, Anthony. All right, guys, we got done filming early today. You want to go do something? Ooh, we should see the Marvin Bros movie. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, that'd be dope, dude. It would get more views if it was called the Jeffy Bros movie. Obviously. All right, guys, let's go see the Marvin Bros movie. Yeah. Sweet. Hey, Pooby, can I go? No! I'm so excited to see this movie. Yeah, one ticket to the Marvin Bros movie, please. That will be $20. Ugh, highway robbery. This is why nobody goes to the movies anymore, am I right? Should've just waited to see it on Amazon Prime. Hey, one ticket to the Marvin Bros movie, please. $20, please. Jesus. Thank you. Hey, one ticket to the Marvin Bros movie, please. $20, sir. Damn, dude. God, expensive ass movie. One ticket to the Marvin Bros, please. And I see your $20. Here's your movie ticket. Thank you. Uh, one ticket to the Marvin Bros movie. Oh, sorry, sir. I'm afraid you can't see this movie. But, well, why not? I, I have cash. Here's the 20. Yeah, it's the whole, you know, lawsuit thing. Well, I, I don't use those characters anymore. I made my own. No, I'm sorry, sir. I'm not going to be able to give you one of these movie tickets. Oh, can I speak to your manager? Sure. All right, here's my manager. What the fuck do you want? Uh, I, I want to see the, the Marvin Bros movie, please. You know you can't see that. Well, I, I thought me and the company were cool. Like, I stopped using their characters. I, I thought me and Pintendo were cool. No, they hate you. They told every movie theater in the world that they see your stupid face trying to come see this movie to tell you to leave. So leave. Well, it's true. It's true. I heard your whole thing. Oh, uh, well, look, I, I, got, I got $20. Look, look, let me just see it. I won't tell anyone. Oh, you have a 20 Great, well I'm keeping it for wasting my time. Now leave! Oh, come on, please! Leave! <sighs> if you see him come back to this theater, you call the police. Yes, sir! Alright, this disguise should work. No one will recognize me wearing this. Hello, sir. How may I help you today? One ticket to the Marvin Brothers movie, please. Ooh, the only movies we have left are in 3D. Uh, that's fine, I'll watch it in 3D. Perfect, that will be $20. Here you go. And here is your movie ticket? Yes! Wait a minute, do I know you from somewhere? Uh, no, this is my first time ever at this movie theater. Are you sure? Cause you look really familiar. Or maybe we went to high school together. What's your name? Uh, Marcus? Marcus! I remember you! You're the guy that passed me in front of all the cheerleaders and exposed my wiener! <laughs> that was classic! It's a good thing I'm a shower and not a grower. Anyway, here's your movie ticket. I actually got a ticket! And don't forget your 3D glasses! Oh, thank you so much, sir! Enjoy the movie! Oh man, I can't believe I actually made it into the Marvin Bros movie! Okay, I gotta put my 3D glasses on. Let me take this disguise off. Alright, let me put these glasses on. Uh, enjoying the movie? About to. Get the fuck out! Uh, yep, come on, man. You know you can't see this movie. Oh, come on! Just let me watch the intro! Nope, let's go! Oh, come on! Yo, where's Logan at? Oh, I think he's in the bathroom pooping. Pooping, everybody! Shh. Taking a big old stinky shit! Actually, I think he's banging in the family bathroom. Who is calling me? Shh. 
Shh. Oh, hop off my pecker. The movie hasn't even started yet. Hello? Hey, Pooby. Oh, where are you? I told everybody you were pooping. Pooping? Shh. Wait, bitch, you want to go? This old hag just threw popcorn at me. Uh, listen, Pooby, they won't let me in the theater. Oh, why not? Because of the whole lawsuit thing. Oh, that's crazy. Yo, is that Logan? Tell him to give me a popcorn, bro. Lavelle says get him a popcorn. They won't even let me in the theater. Oh, that sucks. Look, can you let me into the back exit? No. But why not? Well, I don't want to get in trouble. I want to see the movie, too. Just open up the back exit. Uh, just ask Lavelle if he'll do it. What's up? Lavelle, open up the back exit. Wait, wait, you can't afford a ticket, my boy? No, I can't afford a ticket. Just open the back exit. <sighs> All right. Uh, bro, it says the door is alarmed. Just push it, open it. Hi. <laughs> Here you are, what's up, man? I can't believe I made it into the movie, thank you. Yeah, no problem, bro. That alarm was loud. Do you think the manager heard? Yes. I don't think he did. These theaters are loud. Yeah, you good, bro. Hey, you're supposed to buy a ticket like I did. I've been saving up my money all week. Well, just shut up. Yeah, mind your business, snitch. Okay, I can't wait to watch the Marvin Bros movie. Me too. Hey. <gasps> Get the fuck out! How'd you know I was here? You think I wouldn't notice the fire alarm going off? Yeah, I told you he's gonna hear it. All right, man, come on, you're under arrest. What, under arrest for what? The sign says trespasses will be prosecuted and you're trespassing. You basically signed a contract to get arrested, so come on. Well, I, I wasn't the one that opened the door. Don't do it, boy. Uh, actually, I was. Yep, come on, let's go. Yeah, good call, good call. Get in there, you! Oh, come on, let me out. I didn't do anything wrong. No, no, no. You know you're not supposed to be watching that movie. It's not for you. It's for everybody else who didn't piss off that company. But we don't use their characters anymore. No, it doesn't matter. They don't want you watching that movie because they don't want you getting any ideas. The movie's too awesome. Is it, is it awesome? Oh, yeah. I've seen it three times. It's great. Can you tell me if Junior's in it? No, I can't tell you that. Well, can you at least tell me the ending? No, I can't tell you that either. Look, you're gonna have to ask the judge, but don't worry. The court's coming up pretty soon. Well, can I at least get my one phone call? Oh, yeah. You do get one of those. I guess I probably should have given you that before I put you in here. Morgan, come on. You get one phone call. Okay. Oh, come on. Please answer. Hello? Hey, Chili, listen. I just got arrested. I need you to bail me out of jail. What are you in jail for? I tried to see the Marvin movie. You know you can't see that movie. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal. Just come bail me out. Well, I have no one to watch Lily. Well, then get Tito to come bail me out. Well, Tito's going to go see the new Marvin movie right now. Heck yeah, I am. Later, losers. Will someone just come please bail me out? All right, time's up. Well, but, but no one's gonna bail me out yet. Doesn't matter, come on. Oh. oh, that movie was amazing. I loved the Marvin cart scene, and Cody even dressed up like a girl like he did in that one video. Why wasn't that star princess person in the movie? Oh, they're definitely gonna milk that in like the third movie. Her little star was in it though. I'm mad that fire-breathing turtle wasn't watching Charlie and Friends though. Well, I can't believe Jeffy wasn't in it. Wait, where's Logan? Oh, he got arrested. What? When did that happen? While you were out getting popcorn. Shit. Yeah, maybe we should go bail him out. Mmm, I'll go do it. You guys stay here. Someone please get me out of here. Hey, Logan. Hey, Pooby, did you come to bail me out? Oh, no, I just came to tell you how good the movie was. How good is it? Oh, it's really good. <gasps> is Junior in it? No, no, he's not. But Cody is. He dresses like a girl and everything. So he's gay? Yeah, I guess so. That's so cool. How does the movie end? Oh, you see, they actually go to... No, 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 don't tell him how it ends. Y y you, it's time for court. Come on. Oh, I'll get my robe on. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Poober. Today we will be hearing the case of Logan Thirtyegger, who is being accused of trying to sneak into the Marvin Brothers movie, which is very good, by the way. Logan, why were you trying to sneak into this movie film? Oh, well, I tried to pay for it, and then they wouldn't let me in, so I snuck in. I see. And why would they not let you in? Because the company that made the movie uh, sued me one time for using their characters, and I don't use their characters anymore, but I guess I'm just not allowed to see it. Oh. Oh, so you knew you weren't supposed to be seeing this film. Well, no, I didn't know I wasn't allowed to see it because I used my own character, so I thought me and the company were cool now. So when the theater turned you away, that is when you decided to sneak in and break the law, correct? Yeah, I went into the exit, but but I did pay $40. I paid twice, and they didn't give me my money back. So since I paid, I should be allowed to see it, because, you know, I paid. Well, the door that he broke into said that the trespassers will be prosecuted, so he knowingly broke the law. So the door said that, and you opened it anyway, knowing you were committing a crime. That is the worst felony I have ever heard of. Oh, God, I just wanted to watch the movie. It's not like you guys can stop me when it comes out on DVD or streaming it. Hmm. 
Now that is a good point. I suppose there's no way we could prevent you from getting it on DVD or streaming the movie. Then you leave me no choice. I will let you choose your sentence. I could either sentence you to life in prison in solitary confinement because there's no way you could ever watch the movie in there, or I could surgically remove your eyes and ears so you could never possibly see or hear the movie. You choose. Uh, what if I just promise I'll never watch it and you just let me free? We already tried that once, and you tried your sneaky shenanigans at the movie theater. So choose before I choose for you. Uh, uh, I guess the eyes and ears? Okay, cool. Good choice. I order a doctor to remove his eyes and ears. Mm, I'm gonna go watch the Marvel movie again. Oh my god, Logan! Yo, what the hell happened to you, bro? Jeffy. Yeah, man, what happened? All oh, right, he can't hear us. I'll, I'll explain. Uh, so the judge, which is me, d decided to have his eyes taken out and his ears cut off so that he could never see or hear the Marvin Brothers movie because that would be illegal. Well, damn, Pooby, that's harsh. Yeah, I mean, I don't make the rules. Well, I guess I do, but I mean,